Not Takaful, a leading operator in the Nigerian non-interest insurance market, hosted stakeholders to its 2021 surplus distribution event. It was an opportunity to once again make cash out payment to the tune of 36 million naira to its customer who did not make any claim for the insurance policy period of 2019 that expired in December 2020. The chairman of the board, Mr. Muta Bakari, in his opening remarks, said that the company since inception in 2017 has paid claims worth 1.1 billion naira to its customer at the ratio of 16%, which is considered one of the best in the country. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you today to the No Takafu Surplus Distribution Ceremony. This is the third consecutive year that no Takafu is distributing surplus on our general Takafu business and having this type of gathering to celebrate the milestone. Today, we'll be distributing the 2019 surplus to qualifying participants who took up various general Takafu covers, like motor vehicle, fire and special perils, marine, goods in transit from January 1st, 2019 to December 31st, 2019. Qualifying participants are those who did not make any claims on their policies. Based on global best practice, especially for new Takafu operators, we wait for all policies taken in the pertaining year to expire. In this case, we waited for the last policy of 2019, booked on December 31st, 2019, to expire on December 31st, 2020. Early in 2021, we commenced the process by getting an actuarial valuation, and subsequently, management presented a surplus proposal to both our advisory council of experts and the board of directors. Upon completing our internal processes and getting the required in-house approvals, we sought approval from our regulator the National Insurance Commission, NICOM. NICOM was diligent in the approval process, and in June 2021, approval was given for the full amount of 36,319,000 naira. We sincerely thank all the participants who have entrusted us with their risk. We assure you that we shall carry that burden of trust with probity, diligence, and good faith. Given his address, the special guest of honor and former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Khalifa Sanisi Lamido Sanisi II, described Takafu as an alternative form of insurance that is open to all and operates on the principles of equity, justice, goodness, and alignment with their desired doctrines. The introduction of Islamic financial services into the Nigerian financial sector is a landmark event in the history of finance in Nigeria, and is indeed a significant achievement for the benefit of Nigerians in general, and the Nigerian and other Muslims in particular. With a great sense of modesty and, grat and gratefulness, I am honored to be among those who played a leading role in its introduction. As central bank governor from 2009 to 2014, the guidelines for the regulation and supervision of non-interest financial institutions were released by the CBN, and the first Islamic banks were licensed. The governance organs of these institutions that set them apart from conventional ones were instituted and today we are witnessing the growth of Islamic finance as alternative and complementary system of financial intermediation for the benefit of Nigeria and the Nigerian economy. The Vice Chairman, Noah Takafu, Mr. Amino Tukor, in a short presentation, informed stakeholders that the surplus payment to participants has improved from 9% in 2017, 10% in 2018, to 13% in 2019. For 2019, we had about 854 participants. Out of that, 611 did not make a claim. 
So today we're distributing this amount to 611 people. Participants will averagely receive 13% as against 10% received in 2018. For, for 2017, what we distributed was about um, 9%. Last um, 2018, 10%. And this time around, it's going to be about 13%. And I've used the word averagely because this year we've got a bit of a, a difference. When we went to our regulator and we said, here is our um, approval, or here's our request for approval, and they said, no, hold on, guys. We need to do things a bit differently and better. And they said, let us we look at your risk fund under four classes of business that you are providing. Motor vehicle, fire and special perils, marine and general insurance. And they said, let's look at each one based on its underwriting profit. So while we have one risk fund, we have to divide it into four. Yes, it was a bit of a curveball that was thrown at us, but we accepted that challenge. And we thank the regulator because what that did for us is to make, force us to look at our underwriting profit of each sector of our business. So that would challenge us further to ensure that we are conservative, we provide good underwriting policies, and then allows us to divide it and be more fair and equitable to our participants. But averagely, people, participants will get 13%. So, um, like I said, it's a very short presentation. Um, but I want to use this opportunity to say, to thank everybody, to thank our participants very, very, very dearly for trusting us. It is not easy to give a startup the amount of trust that we have received, the amount of support. It's been amazing. It has been amazing. And we say it in-house, the only way we can compete with the big players is to provide good and excellent service. And we would continue to do that. We'll continue to innovate. The insurance industry has a long way to go, but what we have seen in the last few years is the confidence level is growing. Highlight of the event was the presentation of checks to beneficiaries at the 2021 North Akafu surplus distribution. It also featured remarks and goodwill messages from regulators and institutions in the insurance industry. The chairman, vice chairman and managing director speaks further on the factors that enable the consistency in surplus payments, strategies for growth and the outlook for the Takafu segment of the insurance industry. From their antecedents and uh, the regulators have been very supportive and also very insistent on financial inclusion and also protecting the participants and also ensuring the growth of the industry. So the future looks very good. All that is led for us to be innovative, capitalize our business, bring all the best resources available, human and material and intellectual to grow the industry. When I was making my presentation, I talked about having proper underwriting processes in place. If you do proper underwriting in place, uh, you reduce your risk, you manage your risk, um, you price appropriately, okay? And you guide your participants to ensure that, look, their assets are adequately protected. That way, they are also participating. Remember, they don't want to make claims. So if you guide them, if you support them to ensure that their assets are secure, by giving them proper advice, then you see that you have fewer claims. So that's what we've been able to do over the years at Notakafu. As you can see today, it's a promise kept. In Notakafu, um, our model of insurance is actually different from conventional. In conventional, when you pay your premium to them, you know, at the end of the day, if there is no claim, you get nothing. But for us in uh, Takafu company, if you pay your premium to Ross, um, you benefit either by the way of making claims, and if you don't have claim, of course, you are eligible to a profit sharing. And um, what we are seeing today actually was a result of what we call prudent underwriting. 
teamwork and um, good management. You know, we are like fund managers. We manage that fund on behalf of our participants. We invest in it. We invest it. And um, at the end of the day, the surplus in the fund are shared with the participants. One of the beneficiaries expresses joy over the outstanding performance of No Takaful. It is so exciting that an insurance company can give a support to my clients. I am a member of NASFAT, National Reliance Society of Nigeria, and I'm glad they are getting a refund. We share their portfolio with other insurance companies. They've not been able to respond. Other Islamic insurance companies have not responded on bonus. Now having a check to present, that will boost my business and that will make it a great news to the clients. Um, today is a wonderful day and I, I, they have my personal account too and I'm wait, anxiously waiting that after the expiry of 12 months, I'll get a surplus without claiming, uh, getting a claim. Unlike conventional policies that when there is nothing, they will just only say thank you. This one shows that you can get a refund if there is no any claim. North Akufu prides itself as the only operator in this segment of the industry that has been distributing surplus payments to its customers since 2019. With over 65 million naira paid so far, this is a remarkable development that will deepen the insurance sector contribution to the nation's economy through the non-interest market.